just a generally cool guy. He showed me a couple months ago some database he was doing in virtual reality. Hey! Hello, everyone. Michael is showing me a really cool demo of their NAPTI product, which can like can take a billion rows of data and render them in real time on a map and let you filter them interactively. It's really, really cool. Almost like it quite hard. But I am, we got lost in the demo, so now I'm late for a meeting. It's Friday and I completely forgot to keep carrying my camera around. It made the week more relaxing because it's been, there's been a lot going on. But Reactathon is in two weeks. Or is it in a week and a half? I just got word that 13 people bought tickets for my React and D3 workshop, which is amazing! Oh man, that has been a long ass week. But we got an entire gigantic feature out. Or well, it's going to deploy on Monday, but it's ready. Oh, oh I should I don't even know, man. I'm just tired. It's been a long ass week. We're doing our usual Saturday morning thing today. I get Phil, she gets Blue Bottle, then we go to the farmer's market where we get these amazing duck eggs. Tonight she's leaving for Costa Rica and then I'm all on my own for a week and I think I think that gives me enough time to have something ready for React-Ton where I'm announcing a new thing. That's gonna be exciting. There's this open source React and D3 library I've been thinking about building for pretty much ever since I made the React and D3 book. I want to make it easier for people to actually use these technologies together, not just teach them about how to use it, but give them some tools. The idea is pretty simple. I don't want to make a library where you're given a bunch of predefined visualizations that you have to put together and then as soon as you're trying to do something new, you have to, to really work hard and fight the library, which is usually what happens with these sort of libraries. Instead, what I want to do is I want to give you a simple library that makes it easier for you to put things together. But first, I have to buy these duck eggs from Washoe Valley Farm. I need to work on my left bicep. Look at this difference in camera stability. This is my left hand. And this is my right hand. See? Big difference. I just learned something really interesting from the guy with the best meat on the farmer's market. Apparently, if you feed your animals with milk for the last couple of days before turning them into meat, they develop a more tender, whiter flesh. Here, here we can observe San Francisco's proudest English. The basic girl at brunch. Um, looking at Instagram fashion. He invited you as well. Okay, Morgan is off to Costa Rica for a week, and I have just about a week to prepare a talk for Reactathon and to polish up the workshop, make the updates from the feedback I got at the Fortune 5 workshop that I did, giving the same workshop at Reactathon. I want to update it. About a week. Perfect timing. I just. <coughs> I just live coded a Chrome extension from scratch to finish in about three hours that blocks the Imager homepage so that you don't get distracted and fall into this pattern of clicking on images, which happens to me a lot and I don't want it to keep happening. So the idea is that no more Imager homepage, it's replaced with healthy tips for taking a break. At the same time, you can continue using Imager as a way to host images, to look at images when somebody links you to a direct page or something like that. So the idea is to just stop you from going to imager.com and going and clicking into a bunch of images. Happens to me way too much and I got frustrated with it and I wanted it to stop, so I built this. All right, so you go to imager.com and instead of the imager homepage, you get a nice gif of a cat and an idea for what to do, walk around for five minutes. If you reload the page, you get a different one, you can gaze through the window. It's all open source, so people can go into GitHub and add more of these ideas. Here it is, full product in three hours. You, you can see the live coding session. I'm gonna launch it on Product Hunt tonight and hopefully it's going to help some people. I'm pretty sure it's gonna help me a lot.